In this video, we are going to make a ALU, which supports uh, three different uh, operations. Uh, and it's built on top of the previous modules we created. Um, that includes the AND module, the ADD module, and the OR module. So let's just start by opening a new circuit. Then let's open the uh, libraries. So firstly, we open the standard library for ports and uh, the multiplexers. Then we open the CPU project library. All right, here we have the um, AND module. This is the first functional unit of our ALU. Um, adder, the second functional unit of our ALU. And you can find the um, third functional unit um, or component, which is in the CSCI 250 library. Uh, or eight, that's our third functional unit. Um, the design of ALU is uh, very simple if um, you have uh, all the functional units designed in advance. Um, what you need is a multiplexer. A multiplexer comes in power of two in the number of inputs. Um, we have uh, three inputs, so uh, the smallest multiplexer we can use is uh, four by eight multiplexer, which means we have four inputs. And every input is a bus of eight bits. Um, the next step is to uh, wire the functional units to the multiplexer. Um, we wire the functional units based on the um, operation of ALU. Uh, our desired operations are uh, having AND when the uh, opcode of ALU is 00, zero or when the um, opcode of ALU is 0, 01 and add when the opcode of ALU is 10. So we connect the functional units in that order. And this connected to um, port 00, 00 or is connected to 0, 01. Uh, full adder or add is connected to um, 10. And for this work, we leave the third input of the multiplexer open. Um, inputs of uh, ALU, um, we have uh, two select signals. These are basically the opcode of ALU specifying what operation is ALU going to do. Um, we're going to attach uh, binary switches for testing. So here we have specified the uh, opcode of uh, ALU using these binary switches. And then we have two bus inputs, uh, which are uh, connected to every one of the functional units, meaning same input is connected to all functional units. So let's uh, first of all, uh, make one common input B, and also let's make one common input A, Uh, for testing and driving some inputs, we attach a breakout. Uh, we use the name suggested by the bus and use the arrow key left. We rotate the bus, uh, rotate the breakout to the left so we can attach hex keyboard and the same uh, breakout for the other input. Uh, make sure the breakout and uh, bus are connected. Uh, move the breakout using arrow keys to the right and left, and um, if they're connected, uh, breakout will follow uh, with the bus. Okay, all the inputs are, um, input A and B are attached. Let's attach um, hex keyboards for driving some values. This is the hex keyboard we're going to use. have eight um, 
input, uh, we have 16 inputs and we need um, two hex keyboards for every one of the inputs. Okay, that's uh, eight hex keyboards driving 16 inputs. So let's just start the simulation. We stop the simulation here and start the simulation again. Uh, we do a type of uh, show value simulation. Let's enable show value from here. So we see all the values of all the signals here. So according to, according to operation of the ALU, we expect um, to see the result of the ALU um, showing a result of AND if uh, opcode is 0, 0. So let's test that. Let's drive um, input with 0, 0. Uh, let's drive with um, 0, 5. And the other input, FF, F. Uh, so FF is good for masking, so the result of AND will be more obvious. Um, and then um, attach opcode of 0, 0 for AND operation we uh, expect to see the result of AND showing up at the output. And this is what we are seeing here. So result of AND is uh, showing up on the output. So uh, that is uh, showing um, the ALU is working as expected. For the next test, uh, we can test the OR module. So for the OR module, the opcode of OR module is uh, 0, 1. So when we set the opcode to 0, 1, starting from most significant 0, least significant 1, we expect to see the result of OR on the output. Uh, let's try some different value. Let's say we drive 0, F, and 0, 0. Uh, the expected result here is um, 0, F, uh, based on the OR operation. And uh, on the output, we are seeing 0, F. So that confirms that for 0, 1 opcode, we can drive um, OR to the output of AAQ. And for the last one, let's uh, try the AND. For AND, the opcode is 1, 0. So if we set the opcode to 1, 0, we expect to see the result of AND on the output. Let's try one uh, AND operation. Uh, 0, 1 for on one inputs, and 0, F for the other. The expected result is uh, 0, 1 plus 0, F, which is 1, 0. And this is the result that we are seeing on the output. So this is also confirming the correctness of uh, AND uh, for the ALU. Um, all the three operations of ALU are verified, so um, we are uh, good to create a symbol from this um, ALU circuit. So I stop the simulation and save this file. This is the third project we are making. I call this uh, ALU and it's stored in a separate folder. This is my uh, ALU circuit. The next step is to create a symbol from this ALU circuit. Let's save this file as ALU symbol. Remove all the uh, drivers which are hex keyboard and binary switches and attach ports uh, instead of the drivers. So here we have uh, four inputs and one output. Inputs are two buses, A and B, and uh, two signals, single bit uh, inputs, which are OP1 and OP0. From the library, let's select ports. I start with the uh, input buses, input eight. And then uh, output bus. Then a uh, single bit, 
ignore inputs. Um, it's almost ready. We need to pick a name for uh, the inputs. Let's pick some uh, meaningful names for uh, input B, select name B, A. For opcodes, I'll go with OP1, showing this is the most significant bit of operation. And OP0 for most for least significant bit of the uh, ALU OP or opcode of ALU. Um, this is this is supposed to be port output. This is uh, has to be replaced with port out. And we name this one um, result or uh, R. Okay, this is now ready. We save this file as ALU symbol and we can now create a symbol. File new device symbol. Uh, first, we attach the circuit implementation. All the ports will show up on the left. Uh, I'll verify a few uh, signals. So A and B are supposed to be input. OP1, OP0 supposed to be input and um, R is supposed to be output. That is as expected. Let's generate the symbol interface. Um, it's preferred to have uh, output on the right side and we can call this component A Generate the uh, interface of ALU and we can save this one uh, in CPU project library. Now we are ready to test the ALU using a test bench. Close all the uh, unnecessary files, make sure you save your files and then create a new circuit. And we drop this instance of ALU uh, for testing the uh, ALU symbol, uh, we follow the same step that we uh, did for um, testing the circuit itself. So let's attach uh, two breakouts for input A and B. Always verify that the breakout is connected to the bus because that's uh, one of the most common errors. And we need two binary switches as well for driving OP1 and OP0. Uh, let's start the, let's stop the simulation. We also need the hex keyboards. Let's attach the hex keyboards. or hex keyboards for driving uh, 16 signals. Okay, just uh, moving the hex keyboards around to make sure they're connected. Let's uh, start the simulation and enable show value. So we see the values of every signal. So let's uh, start with uh, verifying and operation. Uh, we set OP to 0, 0 and we go with the same test we did earlier. So we test um, 0, 5 and FF. And the expected output with AND operation is uh, 0, 5. Uh, let's try uh, OR operation. So if we go with um, 0, F and 0, 0. And if we set OP to 0, 1, 
we expect to see um, zero F on the output, which is the result of OR. So that is also confirming the correctness of the symbol. Uh, and for the last one, let's try uh, adding two numbers. Let's add a zero, one, two, um, zero, F. And the expected result for uh, this one is um, one, zero. The opcode of ALU is uh, one, the output of ALU for add operation is one zero. Let's set this to one zero and uh, pass in input zero one and zero F. They are added. The result is one zero in uh, hex. So that confirms the symbol is correct. And we can save this one as ALU test bench. And that's uh, the uh, end of the work for this video and we have the AL symbol that we can use in the future.